All right, y'all. Sister wants to go get a sliding glass door. And she's got this pickup. It's a little Toyota. So we're building a frame here. We've got some 2x4s, miscellaneous wood. 2x2 two two over there. Um, it's just scrap wood. And we're making cleats. Can y'all see that? So that when we put the sliding glass door on, and we'll have plywood on top of this, it doesn't move back and forth laterally like that. So we're going to put cleats like these little guys. We just screw them in up at the top. The two by four is actually a piece of wood that we got from them delivering two other sliding glass doors, which that was a disaster. So we prefer to go buy them and pick them up ourselves. So that's how we're doing the cleats. Total of six, because there's three pieces of two by four or two by two. And if you do the cleats, when, when the wood, whatever you're using, in this case two by fours or two by twos, or on the truck, it makes the cleat much tighter. So then what we'll do is, we'll finish putting this together. Then we're gonna, we have some plywood, just some scrap plywood we have, like right there. And right there. So then we'll have the plywood on top. We'll get the door, which is six feet wide. And wrap the door with, we use bedspreads, thick comforters. Wrap the door, bring it home. We'll put the slider down here protected and then we're going to put the frame with the stationary door up here so that's what we're doing today so look how tight this is y'all with those cleats in this is the movement with those cleats in none the two by two and the two by fours are cleated now you see that all along there and all along here now sister is going to take it at it's just a piece of two by eight I can get it down over here. We're gonna set it on top. It's just a garbage piece of wood. So we're gonna have that one, and then this guy over here, those are gonna rest on top. And what this allows us to do, she's got tie downs on the side here, the front here and the back. We're gonna use those to tie down the sliding glass door. But here, we wanted this longer piece of wood because we're going to use this as a tie down to wrap around it and secure it. And then the slider will go right under here we're going to secure that put red flags all that kind of nonsense and protect that thing woods under here plywood plywood down then we transport it go get our door okay y'all we have pieces of cardboard under there to act as insulation or padding really for the sign glass door and that's where we're putting them so they don't fly out and we're going to tie it down with a piece of rope and we're on our way all right y'all we have the sliding glass door this is how we tied it off. You just have to come up with whatever configuration for tying off that you can, but it needs to be very secure. We actually went and got this door like an hour and a half away and drove it back. Didn't move a bit. We tied it off like this. Just different types of rope to tie it off and keep the comforter here from flapping around. And my sister has the tie downs on the outside. So it worked out really well. The plywood is here. This Pella, it's a Pella door. 150 series is resting on top of that. And our two by four right under there. There is the sliding door panel right there. That's all tied down in there. We put a comforter on the bottom to protect it. Just pieces of cardboard at the corners. And again, Tie it off in any configuration you can to make it secure. If you're not comfortable with your tying abilities, then I wouldn't transport a sliding glass door this way. So there she is. Cross there. And under there. So it was successful, it did a nice job. <clears throat> this wasn't moving a bit. You can see that this particular sliding glass door, it's a Pella versus a gelled one. That's what we have in our area. But this is protected by wood on three sides. So we didn't have much worry about bending the frame or bending the fin on this frame. We use mostly mule tape 
that's what we call it. And it's a nylon rope like that. It's really strong. We love it. This is how we had the plywood when we transported the sliding glass door. We took a uh, drill and some screws with us to be able to screw these piece of plywood down. Like that. We're just taking them out now. There you go. That's how we kept it down. We've already moved the sliding glass door, the fixed panel, and the frame right there because we're older so we can't manhandle an entire door. It's probably like 190 pounds. So we transported the fixed panel in the frame and the slider right there. That's how we held it in. We put some rope here. We just found some pieces of cardboard there at Lowe's is where we went to. We tied it off right over there. And this is how we held it in. There you go. We also did tie these two by fours down with the cleats on them to tie downs. We tied along there, came up, tied this one down as best we could, tied it down here to right under there, went across and did the same thing on the other side. All right, y'all, we use these type of clips on the tie downs on our truck. So it's easier to get rope, as you see, in and out of there. They're great. We have them at each area of the tie-down. So that's how we transport a sliding glass door. We hope it helps and happy DIY.